the, the time bomb is ticking with every second the disaster is coming closer and closer unlike myself you will have nowhere to defect to unless you want to live in Antarctica with penguins this is it this is the last country of freedom and, and possibility this time bomb Mr. Besmanov has been talking about has been ticking for almost four decades that is four decades of propaganda being pumped into the minds of the rising generations. Four decades of people being told the lie is the truth. Four decades of opportunities to restore not only the Constitution, but the American way of life lost. Where does that leave us? What can we do? Well, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the immediate thing that comes to my mind is, of course, there must be a very strong national effort to educate people in, in, in the spirit of real patriotism, number one. Number two, to, to explain them the real danger of socialist, communist, whatever, welfare state, big brother government. If people will fail to grasp the impending danger of that development, nothing ever can help the United States. You may kiss goodbye to your freedom, including freedoms to, to homosexuals, to prison inmate, all this freedom will vanish, evaporate in, in five seconds, including your precious lives. Step one must be an effort to educate the people. As John Jay put it, to teach the rising generation to be free. We need to teach the spirit of real patriotism and the dangers of all collectivist systems, including communism. If we fail at this, then we can wave goodbye to our freedoms. There's a problem, though. In most aspects, it's the government actors who have been leading this country to destruction. Um, the second thing, I, the moment at least part of the United States population is convinced that the danger is real, they have to force their government. And I'm not talking about sending letters, signing petitions, and all this beautiful, noble activity. I'm talking about forcing United States government to stop aiding communism. Because there is no other problem more burning and, and urgent than to stop the Soviet military industrial complex from destroying what is, whatever is left of the free world. If we the people wish to remain free, it's up to us to force the government to stop aiding the collectivists. I don't mean denying their rights, but stop aiding and abetting those who are trying to destroy this country. Stop federal funding of education. Stop subsidizing the collectivist agenda. Not by writing letters or signing petitions, but by making the politicians more afraid of disappointing the American people than their donors and political parties.